Who was the first president to be impeached? What is a term where two contradicting words that make sense in the overall situation, but they contradict? An example is, that dog is pretty ugly. What is that called? <laughs> what does it start with? Can you tell us that? Okay. So it's when two contradicting words are in a sentence, but make sense overall. So like, the dog is pretty ugly. Yeah. The question is, why do we celebrate Cinco de Mayo? Why not? <laughs> Isn't it like an independent? That is not the independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 the battle of something. Yeah, they, uh, didn't they win something? Yeah. It's because they won something. Yeah, yeah. I just forgot what it was. <laughs> they <literally laughs> That's from it. The square root of negative one. Huh? Hold on a second. That doesn't work. Because oh, of the fact that the problem. Problem. negative one negative times one. negative, or there is no number that can be multiplied by yes. itself to so, reach a negative number, so, so it's, it's got to be one I. Who was the first president to be impeached? Uh, <laughs> Clinton. Yo, he said who? No, 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 it wasn't him. It was. It was. It was. It was. was it? Is it? Franklin. Early or what is a term, two contradicting words that make sense in the overall situation? This is an example. That dog is pretty ugly. Say. No, I'm not. 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 I'm who was the first president to be impeached? Mm -hmm. Okay, and your second question is, what is the term in a sentence when two contradicting words make sense in the overall situation? An example is, that dog is pretty ugly. Mm -hmm. And your last question is, why is Cinco de Mayo celebrated? Forces and like one something independence. It wasn't independence. Your, your question is what is the square root of negative one? It doesn't exist, does it? It's not, it keeps going. Zero. It doesn't exist. No, what's, a, what's another word that doesn't exist? Uh, null. No. 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 Okay. It doesn't exist. Isn't that close enough? Uh, it's not, it's, Mr. Wilson said the same thing. He said it doesn't exist. But he said, he said I. It's, so. it's, it's an imaginary it's number. Yeah. You're an imaginary So your first question was, who was the first president to be impeached? Uh, Johnson. Okay. <laughs> All right, your next question is, what is the term in a sentence for two contradicting words, but they make sense in the overall situation? An example is, that dog is pretty ugly. Can I tell them what it starts with? 
It's an oxymoron. oxymoron. Yeah. Oh, I knew that. Come on. I knew that. I was sleeping for the <laughs> Okay. And your last question is why do we celebrate Cinco de Mayo? It's a war. It's a big battle that they won in Mexico. Do you know what battle? Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. We just had breakfast for the other day. Why can you Anybody? Battle? Uh, it's the Pueblo War. <laughs> it's kind of easy. Okay. okay, so your question is what is the square root of negative one? Positive. <laughs> I don't make fun of me. It's imaginary. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I just like to say you should not be able to answer any questions. Yeah. Nah, I'm you, not. I'm not. You don't I'm need not. to go in there. I'm you not. You stay in here. Okay. 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 <laughs> so my 34. It's an imaginary number. That's exactly what I said. Okay, you get 20 seconds. Okay. Your first question is who was the first president to be impeached? two contradicting words in a sentence, but they make sense in the overall situation. An example is, the dog is pretty ugly. Double negative. Oh, we learned this in this 11th class. This is probably the only thing useful she taught. Wait, he said it. <laughs> yeah, he said it. Awesome. Okay, we're winning, guys. Okay. And then, right. your next question is, why do we celebrate Cinco de Mayo? We learned, uh, this three weeks ago. Uh, we learned this three weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, for a battle fought in Mexico. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it remember the, the. Do you know what battle? That's a Texas battle. I'm doing it. 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 I'm doing Yeah, it's an imaginary number. Oh, yeah, I got it.